everybody, Roseanne White. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning here in uh, Blue Sky, Arizona. So today I am here live, a little different time of the day for me. Um, I normally come on late afternoon and evening, but it is 8 o'clock uh, in Arizona. And it is the day after the World, uh, the World Mental Health Day. And that um, really was kind of special to me. So I was really happy to go ahead and do a live today to observe an observation of yesterday's World Mental Health Day. So welcome to this live. I'll be here for at least the next half hour or so. And I want to encourage you, if you have any questions or comments, to please go ahead and type them in the chat. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And uh, let me know if you have two of the products that I will be actually using from Life Pro today. I'll be using my mini waiver, which is right behind me, and I'm sitting on the mini PEMF mat. Um, the par, uh, with that has the far infrared frequency. The PEMF mat's been a new. And a new a product that was recently introduced from Life Pro, and um, I've really enjoyed it. And I wanted to share with you my experience and things that I do on it re related to mental health. Um, so let's talk a little bit uh, first. So while everyone's tuning in, I'll, I want to welcome you if you're on our VIP Life Pro page or if you're on the regular Life Pro page. Or if you are just uh, on YouTube, if you're tuning for the first time, welcome. You know, um, as I said, Tuesday, October 10th was officially recognized as World Health Day. And I just wanted to take a moment, a few moments, to reflect on the importance of mental health, mental well-being, and share some thoughts with you. This year, the, uh, the World Foundation Mental Health decided to, to choose a theme that was kind of resonating that promoting mental health, meaning the theme was mental health is a universal human right. And uh, I know for a fact, mental health affects all of us directly or indirectly. And it's, I feel it's very important to acknowledge this and to remind ourselves it's our responsibility to take care of ourselves and um, our society to support it without discrimination. Um I personally have d struggled with a lot of different issues in mental health, um, family issues and personal issues. And um, for a long time, there was a stigma about mental health, that it that you might have been a crazy person if you had some m mental health disease, um, that it, it was taboo to talk about, at least as when I was growing up. Um, but... Um, I just wanted to raise awareness to talk about that, that we can strive together to um, to make more conversation about mental health. And the folks at Life Pro and I want to also let you know that we're here to help you to discover the resilience, the courage, and the power to conquer not only your weight, uh, maybe your weight problems or your aches and pains, uh, maybe your recovery from surgeries or preparing for surgeries or preparing for an athletic event, but your inner battles too. So that's kind of a, a, a different kind of struggle. You might be struggling to lose weight, to, um, to get on an exercise program, to heal an injury or a wound or, or um, preparing for, like I said, go, getting into the hospital, having surgery. But there's a lot of inner battles. And not only in World Mental Health Day, but every day, we've got to remember that every rep, every step, every drop of sweat represents a personal victory for ourselves. But fitness um, isn't the therapy that doesn't come with a couch and a clipboard. It comes with dumbbells and determination. So, you know, we have our all our fitness gear to help us to become physically stronger, but you know, not only when you're lacing up your sneakers or stepping into your home gym to just break a sweat, you're you're telling your mind that you're in charge. You have control of your life, your feelings, and the struggles of life can be tough sometimes. And, 
And there's really no better therapy than stepping into discomfort and then working out. But um, there's other things that we can do. So um, just a little bit about me. I, I've been a fitness trainer for like for the last 25 plus years. Uh, I just turned 66. Uh, grateful to be on this side of the earth because over 21 years ago, I was struggling with drugs and alcohol. Um, I was, I, I am a recovering alcoholic and drug addict, and that was a big battle for me um, to deal with the, the addictions. And um, I have found through a lot of work, internal work, um, that my ADHD and my stress, my anxiety, my depression were some things I never looked at and never were addressed. And I, um, I feel empowered to know that even though I have all these labels, you know, oh, she's got ADHD, oh, she's depressed, oh, she's anxious, oh, she worries. Even though I have all these things that go in my head and go around in my head, um, the drinking and the drugging were my solutions. They were my symptom management. And um, so for me, you know, mental health came uh, as a as a, pro- a byproduct of hitting a very low bottom. So uh, mental illness can be come in all different forms. It can come into like some severe forms, schizophrenia, um, personally personality disorder, uh, post traumatic stress, and either you might be affected by it or someone you know might be affected by it. And there are, there are a lot of solutions out there. It's just seeking help sometimes. And that's, I think the first thing for all of us is seeking help to do that. So um, I want to share with you some of those things. This is not a lecture by any means. I, I'm actually going to be um, talking about how the PEMF mat and the vibration platform have been very helpful tools for me and my husband to, um, and friends, I've put a lot of my friends on the PEMF mat and they absolutely love it to get more grounded, um, to move the energy in our body. That's preventing us to be the greatest versions of ourselves. So again, I want to welcome you to this session of taking a mental health break day. And maybe you can't take a whole day and you know, just like you, you've got responsibilities of family, friends, kids, uh, work, whatever. And, but taking little breaks to take care of yourself, uh, add up. It's like money in the bank. You know, all of a sudden you look one day and you have the savings account. Um, it's built up, um, and recovery from mental illness doesn't come overnight. Um, I, I work on recovery, for my alcoholism and drug addiction. Although I'm 21 years away from a drink or a drug, I do things to give back to my community. Um, I have a fellowship of friends and I give back to work on it. So um, I am so glad. Jessica, thank you for coming on. I'm glad that you um, are appreciating this. It's a a pretty uh, raw topic for a lot of people. I've been addressing this professionally for for a long time, I share this my my um, my story all the time with my clients, with my friends, with other people I know, and and the public because it's something that needs to be talked about. So, um, you know, what I want to say to you right now, more than anything, whoever's listening to this, no matter what your challenges you're facing, um, I want you to know you're never really alone on this empowering journey to um, to, to be healthier inside and out. Uh, I like to feel and believe, and I do in my every fiber of my being, that um, if we work together, we can rise above this. We can get after. It. We can prove that 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 mental health, mental strength, is forged in this movement. Getting fit, losing weight, recovering from an injury are all incredibly difficult tasks. Um, I know that. I know that firsthand because I've gone through all those things. And um, what I love about Life Pro so much, and, and it's in a lot of the literature, is that Life Pro believes no one should have to go on that journey alone. You know, um, Joel and Abe and, and all the folks at Life Pro, Debbie and Amber, you know, and, and all the guardian angels, right? all of you guys have created this community where people strive to achieve their fitness goals with the equipment that they have. Um, and, and besides just the fitness goals, uh, the stress relief goals, the, um, 
the, uh, the help, the support, the motivation to keep motivated and on track and all in one place in our community. So I know Life Pro Fitness is all about that, you know, helping you release, release your goals of health and vibrant wellness, but their, their wellness tools, their red light therapy is huge. So um, before I go any further, I just want to talk a little bit about sitting on the PME, PEMF mat. I always mess, mess, mess that up. I'm on the mini, and I'm going to show you this on my camera. I'm on the mini. Oops. So you can kind of see there. Okay, I'm on the mini. And this is something that I like to do. Uh, maybe I'm sitting, I, when I'm sitting at my computer, um, I, I'm on the floor right now. I can sit on this and, and work on my computer. But you can just sit on it, lay on it, and we're going to be doing an actual little routine on it. Um, but if you if you're not familiar with PEMF, it's pulsating electromagnetic frequency, and it com I'm not going to go into a full detail. If you're new to PEMF, um, Amber has done an amazing video on that, so check out our YouTube channel. Um, I'm just going to go into specifically the settings I like to use for rest and recovery. Now we can go from one to thirty hertz with this energy, and um, I like to go in low, low settings. So when I turn my unit on, um, it, ha it has a timer. Let me just turn it on. Oops, I just shut it off. It's got a timer and it shuts off automatically at 60 minutes. If you're new to the technology, you want to start like everything. Start with shorter increments of time and space it over the course of a week or two. And then over time, you can use this every day. Um, I've heard people actually, uh, sleeping on them. I don't know if I'd want to do that because of the uh, crystals in there, but my husband and I, I've got the large and the mini and we'll, we'll watch TV in bed and we'll just put that on uh, the bed and watch TV for a little bit and just kind of chill out. So it's really easy to slip off and on the bed. Um, that, the, this, the mini isn't that heavy. The mini only weighs, and I'm going to look at my specs here because I can't remember everything. The mini weighs 8.8 .8 pounds and the regular unit weighs 32 pounds. So the mini is 39 inches by 19.5 and the um, regular mat is 74 by 31. So it's quite large, but they, uh, the power is a little different. The voltages are the same. The, the far infrared technology that's in there, which is another feature of this mat, um, is the same. The temperature goes from 86 to 176 degrees. When I'm in my um, relaxation zone, I don't make it, I don't take it more than 149 degrees. I keep it around 149, 150. If you're using the mat for other benefits, you go higher or, or lower. Um, like I said, the timer, it's five to 60 minute increments of time. Um, and there's just different, there's more zones, heating zones and uh, core zones on the, um, or the core zones on the larger mat. Same frequencies, one to 30. 30 is more detoxification, the lower ones. And I like to go about, about mm, eight, eight to 10 will probably be where my, I'm going to be at today to just kind of keeping my chill factor, my, my chill zone, even though I'm going to have heat at 150, I'm going to be at 10 in the, um, in my frequency. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Again, if you want more information about the map, please check out, um, ask questions. I can send you some links. Okay. If you want links, I can send you links from YouTube that Amber's done specifically about that. Debbie's done things on this. We've got, we support this technology all the ways, but I wanted to take it more about more about what's going on inside between your head when you're on these things and what to do about it. So let me talk a little bit more. Um, I have this on. I, I, I turned on, but I didn't finish setting up. Okay, so I'm on 60 minutes. My frequency, I'm going low. 30 is where I normally like to stay at, but I'm going to go low with my frequency. I'm going to only go at about 8 to 10. And while I'm sitting here talking to you for a little bit, um, we'll get that going. And my temperature, it takes about 15 minutes to get to the highest, the, the maximum temperature that you've put in there. So give it some time. I'm going to go at about 149, 150. So it's going to start cooking here. So let's talk about 10 ways that you can take a mental health break. Okay. Number one, get exercise. 
Even a short burst of 10 minutes of brisk walking increases our mental alertness. It helps with a positive mood. Um, it helps uh, just move the energy in your body. And I, I have, um, I love the mini pacer for that. I love that piece of equipment because I can roll it out, I set it up and just walk. I, if I can't get outside, it's been brutally hot here this summer, 115 degrees. So having the pacer mini has been great to walk. So brisk walks, 10 minutes to start with. Um, I eventually like to make sure that uh, I get 20 to 30 minutes of walking, continuous walking to boost mood and improve health. So that's what I recommend to clients to work up to every day, up to 30 minutes, but start where you're at. Okay. Participation in regular physical activity um, increases our self-esteem. We feel good about ourselves and um, it can help reduce stress and anxiety. I'm going to do a little bit of work on the platform, but again, I just want to talk to you first before I do the work because I want this to be a separate part. Um, anxiety, stress, ADHD, PTSD, depression, panic attacks, I have had them all, and I still deal with some of these things, and you might deal with some of the same things too, but that's number one, just exercise. It helps me immensely. Believe it or not, while I was in my addiction and my drug, my alcoholism, I was a fitness trainer for three years. So if that's not insanity about mental illness, that I was taking drugs, drinking, and the next day waking up and, and teaching classes. So um, I'm not ashamed of that anymore. Like I'm saying, like it was craziness, but that's where my mental illness took me. Um and now I can proudly say I don't do that anymore. Uh, and it's made, a, it's a game changer, but I still have stress. I still have worry and anxiety. Number two, eat healthy, regular meals. Eat uh, whole food rather than processed food. We hear it all the time. Not as easily as said, you know, I can say it, but it is work. Right now I'm in a six week transformation program that I've been promoting with among my community and uh, out in the, in the world. Um, it's a six week challenge where we're eating whole foods, no sugar. Uh, there is some dairy, but there's no gluten. And it's amazing. We've been, we're in week two and we're feeling great, but it's work. It's commitment. So know that start just by making a few healthy choices, a little bit more fruit, a little more vegetables, just start adding in and taking out. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. I used to think I was an all or nothing girl. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. Stay hydrated. Super duper important. I'm going to take a sip right now. Stay hydrated, guys. Um, no matter what state you live in, whether it's in a cold climate, a warm climate, um, the... Uh, general guidelines for hydration, take your body weight, divide by two. That's how many ounces of water you should drink every day, believe it or not. Um, if you are exercising, you want to sip on water about every 15 minutes or so, because if you're exercising, you're needing to push through all that metabolic waste through your body. So uh, where do you start? You wake up in the morning and you grab a glass of water. You set the tone of your day by drinking a glass of water. And have water by your bedside so that way you can sip if you wake up in the middle of the night and just stay hydrated. Um, number three, thinking of night. Make sleep a priority. Establish a bedtime ritual um, because we have access now to streaming programs and doing all these things. Um, on, I'm going to sit back a little bit more because it's my mat's starting to heat up and it feels really good. Um, Making, having a bedtime ritual is super important for me. Um, I don't like to just kind of crash with the TV on. So I prefer to have a little quiet time. So take, maybe it's a having a cup of chamomile tea, lavender tea. Just take that time, um, unwind. Maybe it's reading a book. Um, try to stay away from blue light for at least a half hour to an hour, probably an hour be it in the perfect world, but try a half hour, just trying to calm, calm your body down without technology. Now having the PMF med is probably a great idea to help bring you, ground you down on that. So consider that. 
But the PEMF mat actually does help to improve quality of sleep. When I lay on it, I actually do fall asleep all the time. So it's kind of funny. It just kind of knocks me out. So clearly I need that grounding. Um, so make sleep a priority, establish a bedtime ritual. That's number three. And I'm going to put all these in the chat later on so that you have that list. So number four, try a relaxing activity, meditation and breath work. And we're going to do a little bit of breath work on the platform um, and in the PEM mat as well. So um, breath work is super, 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 super important when we talk about getting rid of stress. You know, stress is, contributes to mental health struggles like anxiety and depression. But, um, and it has a lot of negative effects on us. It suppresses our immune system, which help causes you to be sick more frequently. And, you know, let's face it, we can't avoid stress. We can't. It's just there in life. But if we establish a healthy way to respond to it, one of the simplest things you can do is practice deep breathing. So right now, if you're watching this live or the recording, I want you to breathe all the air out. And then take a nice big breath in. Fill your lungs up completely. Swallow and then open your mouth. <sighs> so even if you just find yourself sighing a couple month, a couple times, a couple moments every every so often, just sigh. I sigh a lot, and that, that, that there's nothing wrong. I'm just letting go of anything that's pent up. So taking breaths. When you inhale and you bring the air all the way through your nose, fill up your lungs. You slow your heart rates, and you lower or stabilize your blood pressure. So um, I think it was the American Institute of Stress that says by increasing the supply of oxygen you send to your brain, you can stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system. Um, and that helps promote that state of serenity. Rather than being in the sympathetic where it's the fight, the flight, you're in the parasympathetic, the relaxation. So by practicing regular breathing techniques, you can um, feel more connection to, uh, you can feel more connection to your breath, to your body, I mean. You feel, you drive your awareness away from the worrying of everything that's outside and you breathe in, you can hear your breath, you can feel it, you can just feel that expansiveness and then you relax and you can feel the sense of relaxation. So your brain, our mind can only think of one thing at a time. The stress of, oh, I got to do this or I'm going to take a breath, right? So in high stress moments, find a quiet place, practice deep breathing and see how your body responds to it. Okay. That's going to be a, a big tip that doesn't take anything. You don't need any products to do that. You can do it anytime. So making relaxation activities, meditation, breath work a priority. Number five, set goals and priorities. Maintain a routine. So it was very interesting for me when um, I was diagnosed with ADHD as an adult. I was probably in my mid-50s, and I'm like, what? Um, there's so many types of ADHD. I was diagnosed with overfocused ADHD um, because I had so many irons in the fire, and I couldn't focus anymore. So um, anyhow. The, one of the biggest tools that has been helpful to me is routine. I literally have a schedule. I wake up almost every day at the same time. I wake up very early between 4 and 4.30. And I go to bed usually, usually around uh, 9.30, 10. I'm asleep for sure. So I, I got to get those seven hours in Um it's really important for me. So I kind of fluctuate about seven hours. I, I would love to say I do it perfectly, but I don't. I do the best I can. Sometimes I can only get six and I got to take a nap, but whatever. But the whole point is have a routine. Uh, establish the day of the week that you go grocery shopping. Have, establish the times during the week that you work out. Get a calendar. I used to use a paper planner. And I would just plug it all in like I had appointments with myself, my appointment to walk, my appointment to work out, my appointment for Pilates, my appointment to do food prep, my appointment to go grocery shopping. These were appointments I made with myself. And if I missed my appointment or had to reschedule, that was okay, but I put it out there. Because if I don't make a plan, nothing happens 
then I get stressed out because I'm like, I have all this stuff to do. And look at the time. Oh my gosh, how am I going to do all this stuff, right? Because I, I haven't planned my day. So make a plan, get a routine. I literally, I don't know if I can sh I can show you guys this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if I can do this. Um, let's see if this is, I'll show you one of my plan, uh, one of my days. Okay, so this is my calendar. Okay, and I have a color coded. So I'll, I'll show what time I wake up and my billable time or my personal time, my winding down time. I even have a wind down time um, at, to make sure that I wind down. So I literally use my phone. I'm like, what do I do next? I don't have to think about it. I look at my phone. So it might sound a little, I don't know, it doesn't sound too anal, but that works for me. Maintain a routine. Practice a routine. Practice progress over perfection. Okay. That was number five. Number six, practice a gratitude, practice gratitude, or I'm going to say prayer. Now I'm not talking religious. A prayer can be just a mantra, um, a heartfelt thought. Um, I, again, I'm not talking religion. Maybe you, uh, it's nature, maybe, maybe it's the stars, the moon, um, the trees, uh, the ocean, a higher power, something greater than you. Practice, um, you know, giving thanks and gratitude for your amazing body that you, you you can move the way you can. Even if you have dis-ease or disabilities, um, you're still able to move and, and breathe and like practice gratitude for that. For uh, I, I talk about a five-finger gratitude list every night. Think about five things you are grateful for. This, this, I'm grateful for this, 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 and my fifth one. And then I, I seal that in or practice gratitude in the morning, but practice gratitude. Make that part of your process. My morning time, I, I'm going to step, skip back. Every morning I wake up and I have about an hour of quiet time where prayer, I re, I have some readings, meditation. So practice that. Um, and in that number seven, focus on positivity. I mentioned about prayer. Get a mantra, an I am statement. I am grateful. I am blessed. I am uh, kind. You know, that, the, something you want more of in your life. I am forgiving. Make it a an I am statement and breathe that in and talk that in. That was number uh, seven. Number eight is a super important one. I want you to be aware of this. Stay connected. Surround yourself with supportive people. And this one was huge for me. Um, I'm in a 12-step a, a, a program that I keep connected. I have uh, a lot of my peeps are, are part of this program. I stay connected with community. Maybe it's a hiking group. Maybe it's a, a reading group, a book club. Maybe it's a church group. Um, it's the Life Pro VIP community group, right? Stay connected. Um, isolation is is horrible for us when we are in our disease, and I isolated a lot my last couple years. Um, I um, I really I was drinking alone. I was I was just isolated, and it just doesn't do anything good. So stay connected, get community, like minded thinking, or maybe not so like minded thinking. Open up your mind to something different. Maybe you want to um, be in a group to learn something. So, so challenge yourself to get out of your comfort zone. Because remember, that's when the magic happens. That's when the miracle happens in exercise and in life to get out of your comfort zone. So stay connected with other people. Surround yourself with supportive people. Stay connected with Life Pro. Number nine. Do the things you enjoy. If you don't like doing something, don't do it. Do things you enjoy. Maybe it's just that taking a walk. Uh, maybe it's uh, uh, you had an interest when you were younger and you, you gave it up. Um, maybe it's gardening. Maybe it's just um, learning about something different. But do something you enjoy. I enjoy cooking. Cooking is one of my favorite things. And grocery shopping, I love to do it. I love to cook. So that's kind of nice for me and my husband. Um it's very meditative for me. It's very creative for me. So that's my stick. I don't know. What kind of things do you like to do? What do you like to do? 
So make, make a list, see what you like to do and remind yourself because, oh, I forgot. I really like to do this or that. And then number 10, this is a pretty big one and I did it too. And I want to encourage you all get professional help if needed. Talk therapy is huge. Um, get some help. There's, there's public services that are there if you can't afford help, but get some professional help and you don't have to do this alone. Okay, so I spent the first half hour just kind of giving my mental health and I don't want to be a lecture. I just wanted to share my experience, my strength and my hope with you. All that. Um, this is something that's super duper uh, dear to my heart that we um, that we as a community, the Life Pro community, we got you, okay? We are here to help you between all the products that we have um, brought to the market. All, everything that Joel and Abe have found and sought out for us, the end user, and the, the, the whole organization's got your back. We got you covered. So if you need any help with any of our products, if you need any help with anything, whether the product's not working or you're not sure how to use it or you've got issues in your tissues or you know you're struggling with something, reach out to us. You can always private message me uh, on on social media. You can always email me my name, Roseanne at livefit l i v f i t t dot com. I I got it. I've been there. I've done that. I'm still doing the work. I'm walking the walk. I'm talking the talk, and I'm here to help you. Okay, so just know that. Okay, so are you ready to finally dive in? <laughs> I bet. Okay, let me just readjust some things here. We're going to get on the vibration platform. Now, you've got a couple options here. If you want it, I'm going to move my stool. If you want to get a stool, if you cannot sit down on the vibration platform, I'm going to sit on it. But if you can't sit on it, you're not yet ready to do that. Sit on your chair and put your feet on the vibration platform. We know for a fact that is going to help you. Because it's about that energy coming in, right? So start there. I'm going to um, make a, uh, I still have my mat. It feels so good. I don't want to leave it. But um, I'm going to move my camera a little bit so you can see me. And um, before I start, I just want to tell you one more thing. I forgot to share this. I love essential oils, frankincense, lavender, vetiver, serenity. These are just some of the things I like to do to help me breathe, okay? So if you have essential oils and you're going to take that mental health break, um, start there. If you don't have essential oils, but you have a lemon, a lime, or an orange, uh, scratch off the peel a little bit, just kind of like uh, scratch the surface, and it'll release the oils. Orange oil, citrus oils, they're very uplifting, and all you have to do is smell that oil. Um, if you grow peppermint plants or rosemary, essential oil um, of the plant is awesome. So I'm going to just dab on a little bit of lavender here and breathe it in. Oh, yeah. I've got a pretty, um, I'm, I'm going to be on Amazon uh, this today twice for Life Pro. So I'm a little stressed out about that. It's needless to say because I've got to talk about a lot of products. So, um yeah, this is going to be helpful for me. Okay, so let's see. Make sure you can see me. Yeah, okay. You guys can see me okay? You know, I realized I didn't put my headset on, and I hope this is not too. Um, too echoey. Sometimes when I don't use my headset, it is. Okay. All right. Power on. My vibration, I'm going to go on to manual mode. And I'm going to keep my vibration at about 20. You can go more or less. Remember, it is about what feels good for you. So we're going to sit here. Can everyone hear me okay? Are you, are, that, I'm hoping you can. Okay, so we're going to sit here. The first thing I want to do is get to the breath work. So place your thumb right on your belly button. And your fingers are going to spread over your belly. And place your hand on your heart. The thumb and the index finger are going to be on the collarbones. And you can feel those landmarks. And then you'll spread your fingers. Now, if you're comfortable, close your eyes. I'm going to keep my eyes open because I want to see if I've got any comments. Oh, good. I'm glad you can hear me. 
Okay, so you can close your eyes. Let your eyes be heavy. And if you're not comfortable closing your eyes, just let the eyes just kind of slightly close so that you barely can see. We want to um, close down any outside <clears throat> outside noises or outside, I'm sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, outside distractions. Take a breath in and feel your belly rise. Exhale. Feel your belly pull in. You might notice your pelvis will tilt. Your hips come forward on an inhale and exhale. You'll roll back a little bit. I don't know if you can see how that's happening. My pelvis is doing that little tilting, pushing my belly into my hands. Exhale. So we're just going to do belly breathing. Now, the next time you breathe, fill up the sides of your ribs. So if, you, if you're not sure you're doing this, put your hands here for a moment and breathe into the belly. Then the ribs will expand. Then belly breath out and the ribs knit. So I'm expanding wide. And you can you hear my breath? I want you to hear yours. And then we move the breath from the belly to the ribs to the heart. So you take an inhale, belly, ribs, and then the heart lifts, and then exhale. You'll see my chest lifting up, and then sinking. Do that one more time. Now that you feel the breath moving, you, I'm going to have you do one hand mudra. And this is called Prana Mudra. You're going to take your thumbs, tapping, uh, touching your pinky fingers, and your thumb's going to touch your ring fingers. So you're going to make this bind, the, uh, the index finger and the thumb, uh, sorry, the index finger and the middle finger are released. And you're going to place your palms up on your knees. So let's take three more rounds of breath, inhaling through your nose, belly, ribs, and chest. Open your mouth, sigh it out. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. And one more time. And just sit here for another few breaths. And you can now think about creating a mantra, something you want more of in your life. Or maybe it's a heartfelt prayer for you or someone else. Let's, for me today, I'm going to use the word, I am joyful. So breathe that I am statement in, breathe it out. Another thought or a phrase could be, let is the inhale, go is the exhale. Let go. And one more. And then release your hands. Open your eyes if they're closed. If you've got your legs crossed, change the cross position. And we're going to go ahead and cat cow. Tuck the chin. And then lift the chest. Let the eyes gaze up. We'll do that two more times. If you're seated on your chair, make sure you don't fall back too far. And then roll the hips forward. Gaze up. Pull the shoulders back. I've got my elbows bending. One more time, pull in, look toward the floor, relax your head, look to the left, look to the right, look back to center, and come on up. Great. Now, we're just going to take a side bend. Just stretch up, fingertips reach down, stretch up, look up, and then switch. Just breathe with me here. Just letting the spine move. We're going to be on here for just 10 minutes so the, uh, the platform will shut off on its own. One more reach, breathe in and breathe out. These are really nice, simple moves that we all can do. And then we're going to take a twist. We'll go from your right to left. So your right hand on the left knee, reach that left hand toward me and rotate back. Exhale. Don't go for a big one the first time. Come back to center. Your left hand, uh, right hand on the left knee, reach up and around. So you're twisting to your left. I know this is my right. So if you like the hands, great. Otherwise, both hands reach up. Inhale, 
and exhale, stretch wide. Arms up, take a big breath in. Exhale, reach across the front room and the back of the room. And one more time, inhale, shoulders relax. Exhale, hold this one and take one more breath. Get sit taller. Exhale, look over your shoulder more. And come on back. Other side, breath in. Lift the corners of your mouth. This should feel good. And bring the hand on the knee and reach back. Another breath in. Lift the heart. And exhale. And release. Our legs are going to go wide. So if you're on your chair, just put your feet wide on your platform. If you're on the floor, extend your legs out. So my toes are pointing up. I know I'm cutting out of the, the, the camera, but think toes up. As a matter of fact, let me move this back just a little bit so you can see. There we go. I want you to see what I'm doing with my feet. My feet are wide. We're going to take a twist, okay? So this is going to be your right, my left. You're going to rotate, crawl your fingers. It's okay to round your back on this one and drop your head. Forward folds are very helpful to help reducing stress and tension. And you breathe into the side of your body, the left side. Inhale, exhale, go a little further. Keep your hips anchored. Inhale, come back up. And then we're going to turn to the other side. So I'm turning. My hips are still. I'm turning my shoulders. Take a big breath in. And exhale, tuck the chin and fold. Stay here. You're opening up the right side of your back. You're pulling into the left side. Inhale. Exhale, reach further. One more breath. And come back up. Perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead and you'll take your right arm reaching, right hand reaching to your ankle. Stretch up. Big stretch. And then come over. Take a twist. Come back up and release. Let's do the other side. Reaching toward your uh, left foot, breathe in, and then take a twist. Come all the way up and release. You're going to bring your feet together. Just let the soles of the feet touch. Grab on to the ankles. Again, if you're on your platform, same thing, you can do this. Maybe grab on to your knees. Tuck your chin to the chest and sit nice and tall. The head will come up. You're going to straighten your legs. So again, if you're on your platform or on your chair, your knee legs can maybe drape over. Your hands are going to go behind your back. So you have some choices here. If you're sitting down, put your hands here or here. And I want you to open up your chest. Open up your heart. Get a nice big breath in, a nice big breath out. Let the eyes gaze up. Let the corners of your mouth lift up. And then release. Shake everything out nice and slow. Maybe pat out your thighs a bit. Move that energy around. Pat out your arms. Inhale. Exhale, push out. Give yourself a big hug. Okay, show. And then cross over again. Lifting those elbows up, down, and big stretch, hands behind the head, and then lean back. So that's just about 10 minutes. My machine's just about to shut up. Perfect 10 minutes of how you can be around. Get some breath work in and de-stress. Now, I saw that my internet did a little flip. Are you guys still with me? Can you still? I see there's a few people on. Are you still with me? I want to make sure that I'm still live. I, every now and then I have internet challenges. You're all good? Okay. So what we're going to do now is go on to the PEMF map. And, okay, so I'm glad you're still here. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to move this down. I'm going to move my camera down. Now, when I'm on my mat, let me move all my stuff out of the way. When I'm on my mat, let's see how my timing is here. Okay, I've got time left. Okay. Um, you're not going to see my face too much, but that's okay. You don't need to. Move this back. Move this out. There we go. What I want to recommend 
This is the mini. So uh, make sure you never put your head on the mat. Take it off. Whether uh, you're on the, the, the regular or the max. I like to put my knees over a bolster. You don't have a bolster. Use a blanket. Use a bunch of blankets. And then I've got a little cushion for my head. Okay. We're going to go ahead and lay down. Oh, this feels so good, guys. <laughs> so I hope you uh, enjoy yours as much as I enjoy mine. And get nice and comfortable here. Just settle a bit. When we first lay down, you're going to wiggle. You know, there's going to be some. So if you haven't used your platform, okay, that's okay. This could be a separate this could be a separate segment. Platform one day, PEMF the other day, or maybe you do both. It's okay. I'm going to lay down. And then we can connect with the breath one more time. Thumb in the navel, hands, spread, fingers spread wide, thumb and index finger and collarbones, and just rest. So let's close our eyes and just for a few breaths. Belly, ribs, and heart. Now you can really feel your heart lifting up when you breathe in. When you exhale, allow your bones to settle on the mat. When you breathe in, you're going to feel the energy shifting, filling you up. And then exhale, let the muscles relax from your bones. One more slow breath in through the nose as you fill up. Open your mouth, the big sigh out. And let your hands float off to the sides. So you'll notice with your eyes closed, I'm going to keep my eyes closed too, but every now and then I'm going to look over to see if I've got any questions. Okay. Let's just go ahead and feel how... There's air that's touching your skin, but you can feel the heat of the mat, and that should feel really good. You can invoke your mantra, your intention, or your prayer for this 10 plus minute practice. And I do want to encourage you to spend at least 20 minutes, work up to 20 minutes most days of laying on your P PMF mat with the uh, far infrared frequency uh, temperature at about 150. So we're going to go ahead and bring our feet wide on the floor, the bolster, or the uh, blankets, and we're going to let the knees drop to the right, and you can turn your head and look to the left. And just let your body breathe in here. You're going to feel a little stretch all the way on your right side. On your exhale, come on back to center. Recenter yourself feet wide. Let the knees drop to the right and then turn your head to the left. And once again, we're just going to let everything go. We'll do this two more times. Breathe in. Exhale, come on back to center. Bring your knees together. Let your toes point in, and let's do it again. Drop it over. You've got some options here. You turn your head, and your left foot can come off the blanket or the bolster for more stretch. You can take your right arm and reach away and look toward your thumb. But when you're feeling ready, breathe in, and the exhale brings everything back. In, slow, and methodical, mindful. Another breath in prepares you to roll the knees to the other side. Look to that opposite side. Allowing your right foot to slide away a little further. Reaching the left hand up, anchor the shoulder, and reach away. And get a little more spaciousness. Remember our two-word mantra of let go. So inhale the word let's, exhale go. One more breath will prepare you to move. And exhale, come on back into center, nice and slow. So here's our third one, readjust, come center. I like the feet wide, you get more rotation. Let your knees drop over to the right. 
hang out there for a moment, decide what you like to do with your feet. I'm going to cross over this time, just get a little hooking in my foot over the thigh. And I'm going to take my right hand and gently go from my ear to my jaw to my chin and give me a little more twist in my neck, taking any tension out of the neck muscles. Take another breath in. As you exhale, slide that foot off. Come on back to center. Wiggle a little bit to stay centered. And then the knees will go over to your right. You'll look to the left. I'd like you to just make sure you're settled first before you add any additional enhancement to this posture. Then you can hook the foot on the outside of the thigh, or you can place that right foot away a little further. Then I'm going to take my left hand from my earlobe to my jaw, just help my neck to turn more. I really get more assistance that way. And breathe. You'll slide your foot off slowly and come back. Now I want you to wiggle a little bit and your spine should feel really nice with the heat, the far infrared heat. You're going to straighten one leg, then the other. We're going to reach the hands up. So I'm anchoring my shoulders. I'm going to reach back and I'm just going to make a nice big bend in my elbows. <clears throat> so your hands may stay here. You may like to have the thumb and the index finger together and place your thumb in your navel and your index finger is pointing down. And we're just going to rest our hands on our bellies. In the yoga world, we talk about chakras, their energy vortexes. And here specifically, the pubic bone area, well, actually below the pubic bone, we have a root chakra, then we have a sacral chakra, and then we have um, a solar plex chakra. So we've got three chakras down here. The root chakra about grounding, feeling like you belong. The sacral chakra, it's more about the sexual energy chakra, but it's also a chakra of, um, of owning um, your femininity or your masculinity yourself, right? And then the solar plexus chakra is really about your willpower. So this breathing into this area is so helpful to get connected with self, your, yourself, but also then breathing in and breathing out and connecting back to that greater power, the higher power, maybe your God of your understanding, maybe it's nature, mother nature, father, father nature, your divine, the ocean, the trees, the mountains, something more magnificent. And after a few breaths there, your hands will slide off. And you can continue relaxing in this posture. 